When DNA was found in Stacy that matched Rodney Reed, the prosecution told the jury that Rodney was the murderer. But what if it's not that simple? I traveled to Livingston, Texas, to death row to visit Rodney Reed. Did you rape and murder Stacy Stites? No, I absolutely did not. I didn't do this crime, and here they are trying to take my life. He's accused of rape and murder, and sure enough, his sperm is inside her body. That seems pretty damning. Until you start looking at the totality of the relationship between Rodney and Stacy. How many times do you two see each other? Some weeks I would see her maybe once or twice a week. Did other people know you were having a relationship with her? Yes, friends and family members of mine. Do you know Alicia Slater? No, I don't. Stacy and I hung out at work. She wasn't that excited to get married because she was sleeping with a black guy named Rodney. I was, you know, wow, Stacy, you need to be careful. So you have no doubt that Stacy was in a relationship with Rodney? I have no doubt. This is a female engaged to a cop, a white cop. At the time of her death, Stacy was living with her boyfriend, Jimmy Fennell. Jimmy Fennell was initially the key suspect in this case. Did he ever have an inkling that you were in a relationship with her? He told me, you're going to pay. So it was a clear threat. I took it that way. None of this is what was told to the jury. I think this case is a prime example why they should abolish the death penalty. That's right. Because it's so corrupt. It is racist. It is biased. And all those things have played a major role in my brother's case. Do you believe he's going to be set free? Yes, I do. I have to hold on to that. Are you glad that you've done this interview? Yes, I am. I appreciate it. I'm glad we did this. For telling us we have to stop. We will stay in touch. God bless you. I appreciate you, Doc. Thank you. Falsely convicted of murder. Amanda Knox. I was Foxy Noxy, the monster. When they pronounced guilty, the world crumbled beneath me. Thrown in a foreign prison. I was hit, I was screamed at. Has it changed you forever? They took my freedom, they couldn't take who I was. Now she helps others who claim wrongful conviction. The police knew who did this, and yet they went after the wrong person anyway. New Dr. Phil.